Recent history has shown that if a top prep quarterback wants to get into the NFL, going to USC is a great way to get there. Carson Palmer, Matt Leiner, Matt Castle, and Mark Sanchez have all made it to the pros after attending USC. And Matt Barkley appears to be well on his way to doing the same. The next possible pro quarterback to attend USC can be found in Sammamish, Washington, a town of about 46,000 people just outside of Seattle. That's where Max Brown has been a star at Skyline High School. The Spartans are one of the state's best programs, having won six state titles in the last 11 seasons. Brown had big shoes to fill when he took over the reins as a sophomore as former All-American Jake Heaps led Skyline to three state titles in a row from 2007 to 2009. Brown has proven to be a quick study as he threw for over 8,000 yards and 95 touchdowns in his first two years as a starter. He won a state title of his own last season and now is out for another one. So last year as a junior, we won the state title. Um, so that, that was obviously um, that's that's obviously the ultimate goal. But coming into this year, we have a very strong senior class, and so um, myself, along with other captains, will will try to lead. Uh, I mean, the guys to, to to victory. At the end of the day, the ultimate goal is to win another state title and bring uh, the trophy back to Sammamish. At 6'5", Brown has prototype NFL size, throwing a strong, accurate arm, excellent vision, good decision making and you have everything you want in a five-star quarterback prospect. That's exactly what USC coaches saw when they offered Brown a scholarship. Now he's heading to Southern California, where he hopes to carry on the Trojan strong quarterback tradition. But that decision wasn't so popular with some of his neighbors in Seattle. I'd say I'm taking, I mean, a little heat just because the Huskies, they have loyal fans, they have true fans, they want the best for their team. Uh, but at the same time, I think people close to me and uh, People that really matter in my life uh, understand that USC is the best choice and the best option for me. Um, so they're happy for me, and uh, I think throughout the whole process, I was respectful to each school, so um, people can appreciate that. My family, especially my parents, have been huge, uh, especially during this recruiting process, which has uh, been kind of the most, I mean, pressurized part of my life, I guess you could say, but it's, it's been fun. Uh, they've been a great support system. They, they, they've uh, raised me well uh, to be respectful, to be humble, all that stuff, and I mean, I, I thank them for that. Uh, but it's been great, and uh, I don't know where I'd be without him. While he's confident that he's made the right choice for his future, Brown knows he still has a lot of work to do. He's well aware that several other talented quarterbacks will be on campus with him, and they don't have to show up in Los Angeles ready to earn his spot. Yeah, that's kind of the life of a uh, Division One quarterback is uh, each school's recruiting, uh, I mean, five or six kids of the same ability as you, um, especially at a school like uh, USC, they, they have a lot of good guys, so I'll go down there and compete right away. And uh, I'll, I'll do my best and we'll see where the chips fall. Whether he takes snaps next season or somewhere down the road, Brown is anxious to follow up in the footsteps of the guys he admired growing up, while also trying to build his own legacy. Growing up, USC was the, the top West Coast team, if not nationally. I um, was able to see guys like Matt Leiner, uh, Mark Sanchez, and then now Matt uh, Matt Barkley. So it, it's been fun to, to follow USC and uh, to play for them in a couple years will, will, will definitely be great.